believe the room we're in. Wonder what kind of important talks they had here. I know one of them was about Pearl Harbor. Located in Wakayama Prefecture, this western-style building is a deserted mansion with a fascinating history that is said to be the inspiration for Homoro Mansion from the game Fatal Frame. Although they have striking similarities, such as being located on top of a mountain and involving hauntings, its true origin sets it apart. Constructed in 1910, this opulent villa was the residence of Asahiro Yura, a prominent and affluent Japanese businessman. Born in 1878, Asahiro hailed from the Yura family, renowned textile dyers associated with the Kyushu Tokugawa clan, transforming his family's business. As the world plunged into the chaos of World War I in 1914, as a hero faced a critical predicament with imports of dye stuffs from Germany halted due to the conflict. Japan's dye industry heavily relying on these supplies faced peril as the German Empire possessed exclusive manufacturing technology. The situation seemed dire. Yet, Asahiro rose to the challenge and became the first in Japan to successfully refine industrial grade pure benzene, a significant breakthrough. He also ventured into producing phenol for disinfection and played a pivotal role in manufacturing some Mohs gunpowder and set explosives during the Sino-Japanese War and World War II. Asahiro's expertise became instrumental in post-war Wakayama's chemical industry and fostered connections with military officials. Rumors even suggested that Asahiro had gatherings, which provided him with inside information on Pearl Harbor. Nevertheless, Asahiro passed away in 1964 at the age of 86, leaving behind a family legacy. The mansion remained the Yura family's possession until the 1980s, when they relocated after the tragic loss of one of their children to a severe illness. Since around 2005, the mansion gradually fell into disuse and obscurity, its historical significance fading with time. Alright everyone, so I'm currently trying to get to the mansion. I have to go through all this brush. Hopefully none of it is like poison ivy because I already have some for a previous exploration. Yeah, it's just so overgrown. But our friend sent us a map and this is the way to go. Yes, I guess it's through this. Sorry, spider. To destroy their homes. It's kind of hard to see the path. I think I see a path up ahead. I see a path. The bad thing about this hike up is that it was raining yesterday, so the dirt is just all wet and slippery. I'm always grabbing onto the roots. Pull myself up. So we hear noises coming from the building. We just want to make sure we're the only ones here. So we're gonna scope around from up here. Wow, it's like so destroyed. Can't imagine anyone living in here. So, you know, it could be an explorer or a squatter, or it's just the wind making that loud bang. I feel like an animal would be living in something like that, using it as a den. But yeah, 
so far so good. We're gonna try going to the front of the mansion. All right. Is there something in there? Let's keep going. Let's go find out what that could be. Do I think there's like an animal in there? This place is creepy. That's where they hang their victims. That's where they hang the people that try to explore this mansion. Bro, it feels like Resident Evil in here. That's some old film. I wonder what used to be on it. Well, doors wide open. Looks like this was like the main entrance. Wow, we didn't have to climb the hill. We could have just went and walked up the driveway. This is how the driveway looks now. I can't believe how overgrown the driveway is. I mean, I like the location of the mansion. You had a lot of privacy. You're all the way up in the hill. This is crazy how it looks like this now. You can see how engulfed the mansion is. The entire side is just overgrown with vines. Damn. Yeah, no one's driving through there anymore. You can see here they had another kind of like an overlook. I mean, at one point it must have been a spectacular view. Oh, this must be a side entrance. There's the grill. This is probably where they parked the car. So sad to see this beautiful mansion just left like this and knowing at one point it was just full of life. Just entered a shed. Nothing too crazy over here. We're gonna have to check that later. But anyway, guys, I'm ready to head inside this mansion. This guy named Asihiro basically lived in this mansion. In 1914, World War I started, and Germany seized imports for dye. So this guy, Asihiro, ended up creating the same synthetic dye as what the Germans were producing. And because he was one of the very first or only ones to do that, his company became very rich and famous. And after that, he was given the task to create gunpowder and other chemicals during World War II, which made him even more rich because he was making money from war. I think this place is really haunted. <laughs> Finally, in 1964, he died at the age of 86, and his family, his sons, pretty much inherited this mansion that you see here today. And they were living in it up until 2005, when this place completely got abandoned. But that's all I know so far. I'm really excited to be taking you guys inside this abandoned mansion. You know, there's not really many abandoned mansions here in Japan, so I'm quite happy we found one on this trip. But before that adventure starts, I want y'all to smash that like button. And guys, leave a comment down below where you're from. Let's head inside. Someone must have had to come trim the branches off. It was probably blocking the way to the entrance at one point. Yeah, they look like they took a chainsaw. But what's crazy enough is that this tree Looks like it was freshly cut recently. Same with this one. So that kind of worries me.
Well guys, we just made to the front entrance. Looks to be that this mansion is very traditional style. Dates back to the early 1900s, maybe even further back. What's this? It's locked. You need a key for it. I feel like a, like a demon could be trapped in here. And would you look at that? We still even have the intercom here. I doubt this place has any power anymore. But as you can see, this looks relatively modern. So I think this was abandoned maybe like 20 years ago. <gasps> this is well creepy. And I are starting to explore now. Looks like this is the living room. Dave, you're not supposed to wear shoes. What are you doing, Dave? Take off your shoes, where are the slippers? There's actually one right here. I just tried. Yeah, you're never supposed to wear your shoes when you enter a tatami room. Now you're, now you're even more haunted, Dave. I think I'm freaked out. <laughs> this place does give me the creeps. I just can't believe how everything is still left in here. Even the umbrellas. And look, we got more shoes right here. Oh, what? Bro, they got like the wooden slippers. Look at that. That's what they had in the olden days. I don't even see that nowadays while, while I'm here in Japan. That is sick. Wait, what the hell is this? Hmm. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of stuff that are very old and vintage in this abandoned mansion. Over here you still have like a little bicycle. So you know they were probably a family, had kids living in here. So a pit crew could be quite rare. We got a sofa. I mean it looks like they were packing stuff at one point. Unless these were packed by thieves. But yeah, I wonder what that says up there. This is so creepy. Guys, we're not even trying to make this like a scary video. It just genuinely is. But me and Steve have been quite a few places all over the world. And not once have we ever felt, well, I've never felt. Wow, it's a, it's a giant living room. Whatever made that noise is not making it anymore. Dave. Dude. Dude. What the hell was that? I don't know. That was you. That was me. That was you. That was me. Are you sure? No, it wasn't me. You're kidding me. I genuinely thought you thought that was me. Because you swung around like that. Yeah. Did you get that on camera? I was recording. What the hell was that? Already, I was gonna what say, the heck? Heart, I'm not even joking to you. Can look back at Dave's footage. Oh, I think yeah. he caught that. So I'm not right, right beside you, dude. It sounded like someone threw something. Maybe it's just so moved, dude. I thought you thought that was me. I still think it was you. Dude. Hello? I have a feeling it was that screwdriver right there. I don't think that was there before. You need to, uh... We will get started on this video. So what just happened in there when you were in the room? I 
was standing near the coffee table. I put the horse on the table. Yeah. The coffee, you come looking at me, the coffee table is the size of this. Yeah. I put the horse on, I walk around this side, the last lampshade that's right over there. Right. Can, you, could, can I use that sequence in your, of your footage? Yeah. Can I show them with your footage? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, the weight of it. I literally just caught that on camera. So Dave caught this on camera. The light bulb just mysteriously dropped to the ground. There's some just weird stuff happening in this mansion. I'm assuming that probably says the family's name or maybe a greeting for welcome visitors or guests. Because this home has been passed down from generation to generation. But yeah, a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing is definitely stuff from like the early 2000s. Sucks to see that they left this home abandoned like this. I feel like it would have been a really nice place to live if they kept it up and renovated the place. Wow. And here is a giant living room. On the floor, we have a newspaper. Dates back to 1976. And look, we still have photos of the family that used to live here. Now they look really high class. That was probably taken here. Somewhere in this room. I have no clue how some of the doors became like this. Like it looks like someone was messing around and destroying stuff in here. There we have like an airplane. Yeah, gotta watch your step. I feel like, you know, we're kind of situated high up. There's like a balcony outside. So that's how I kind of know that if we drop through the floor, we're dropping really high up. Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> this is where the light bulb came crashing down. So even if you're standing here, there's no way on that footage, I could, you can't even reach the bloody bulb, Steve. Yeah. Well, that's a good, uh, well, just good down. catch. Huh? That's a good catch that you did. Glad you got it on footage. I mean, it is black, that bowl by the looks of it, so it could have... Damn, that was really like, how the hell? It's crazy that it just happens today. I picked the horse up and put it on the table, dude. I swear to God, the horse was down here on my video, and I've gone, that horse weighs a ton. I put it here. Even if I went around here, there's no way on that camera I mean, yeah, I could reach it, but it was all the way over here. Yeah. I walked here. Video no, I, I bulbs, believe you. And the bulb just dropped. You know why there's not a lot of explorers in Japan? It's because okay. they're afraid of like going inside the band places because they say it's all haunted. Yeah. And I also read, I don't know if you know about this, that when Japanese businesses fail, the owners believe everything fails with it. It all goes with it. Mm. That's what I You're not familiar with Japan. You're probably wondering why the table is so low. Well, in tatami rooms, you would have to sit down on the floor while you eat. So that's why there's like cushion pillows right over there. It's just very traditional. All the windows are open. And the wind is just blowing inside. It's just creating a lot of noise in here. 
Yeah, I love the Japanese style homes. It's great that there's a balcony you can just walk right out of. I bet the trees weren't like this back when they were living in here too. Plus it had a beautiful view. It feels pretty sturdy. So I'm not too worried. Just wraps around half of the house. Yeah, the trees is blocking the view. But beyond it, it's just like a little town. I bet the entire town knew who lived up here. Well, we know the floor isn't too sturdy. Because if you look over there, it's already crumbling. Well, there's signs that this place has been looted. I bet you there were some like handmade samurai dolls in these glass containers. I sure what these could be. I thought they were like cigarette buds. This is just a giant closet. Don't think I want to step over there. Looks like rotting wood. But I do love how the walls look inside here. Very Japanese. I wonder what this is. This is like incense. Yeah, it's just incense. Those like firecrackers. Let's check around this corridor. Dang. Well, the ceiling doesn't look safe at all. That's about to go down any moment. That room is filled with stuff. Well, here's a safe. It's all rusty. Looks like the rats got to it. Ugh. It's not budging. It's a lot of books on top. Hmm? Holy crap. Did you guys see that? That door literally just slammed. Oh, I can't believe I caught that. I don't think it was the wind too. I mean, it is kind of windy in here, but why would it? But that thing blew towards me and the other door behind it is perfectly okay. I feel like it would have moved if it was the wind. That was bizarre. So we are like above 20 feet off the ground. So I really don't want to be falling through the floor. So let's not step on that wet part. Okay, this leads to like out to the back. I'm sure we can make our way around it. I think those are stairs leaning down. Back right next to one of the entrances. Oh gosh, not a refrigerator. We gotta open it though. I bet you there's still everything in here. Oh, not bad, it's empty. Okay, what about the freezer? Oh, empty too, all right. Okay, now what about this one? I can't even open that. Oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> I've seen hundreds of these already. It's a handmade samurai doll. And the cool part about them is that they're all different. And usually, like, 
each family will have one. But yeah, you can see how terrible the damage is in here. You can see through the ceiling right there. How on earth do we cross this? All right, we're risking it. I think if I just stay on this side, I'll be okay. It's not that big of a drop from here. This is just beautiful walking down this hallway. I think this is another balcony almost too. Could have entered from here. You can tell a lot of explorers come here. There's trash everywhere on the ground. Looks like a makeshift seat for like an elderly person to sit on. Okay, here's the first bedroom. I feel like this could have been a kid's room. I mean, the bed can only fit a single person. Here's some more. Handmade samurai dolls. And here's like a stuffed doll. Very vintage. There's nothing really in these cabinets anymore. I just saw this hanging right here. Looks like a charm. Must have meant a lot to the family that lived here. Kind of strange. There's a picture of a house. Looks like the homes you see in America. I wonder why they would have that frame up here. Let's try to cross over without breaking the wood. Probably just gotta step on the beam. Oh boy, this is scary. All right, we made it. Well, looks like there's more strips, film strips right here. It's hard to see, they've been Pretty much destroyed and damaged by water. Well, it hit 5 p.m. and the local town alarm is ringing. Basically, just tells everyone to like go home. I think it's actually pretty cool. I wish we had something like that in America. Check out this living room. This is looking a lot more modern. They probably renovated this part. Still got the TVs. There's any like retro video game consoles, but I'm not seeing any. And there's stuff back here. Uh, it's just a chair. This must have been used for a camera. So it looks like a flash. Here's all the furniture. All that dirt came from the wall. Let's see what's inside this closet. I can't even get through from this side. There's something blocking. I love the curtains in here. Found a stairway leading up to the second floor. Damn, even has like a red carpet. That's what we're walking on right now. I don't even know if it's worth attempting to cross. Dave actually said you were able to get across over here and this leads down to the kitchen. So I'm going light. I'm just going to carry my camera without the gimbal and just try to make it to the room. Apparently you can go right over here. Yeah, that was the other side we tried to get through. 
and there's a basement but damn even the steps are gone just made it to the kitchen it's quite tiny you know the mansion wasn't really that big considering how wealthy they were you can see like all the plates and teacup sets are here still Alright, that's how far we go guys. Definitely doesn't feel sturdy right over here. Yeah, I'm not gonna try or bother. I don't think there's really anything important down there from what it looks like. So I think we should just go upstairs now. It's really cool. It's cool. Yeah, I like it a lot. So I believe that this room here, where they had the meetings. Oh, for real? Of uh, the Pearl Harbor attack, right? <laughs> what the heck? It's really like Western in the here. Ceiling, yeah. yeah. Wow. Ceiling's carved. Steve, I do. So Steve's first response to this room is exactly what I thought. A western feel. It's definitely got like a western feel. Yeah, for sure. And this pottery here underneath is made in England rye. No way. 20, 30 minutes from my house. It's like so close <laughs> to me in Canterbury, in Kent. Dude, that's nuts. Kent, so what? How weird is that? You come to Japan. They must have traveled over there. Could have been like could have been like a souvenir they got from a yeah. trip. And there's a little thin set of steps out there. You'll see them. The little what goes to a room, and up there there's like an English translated book and all that. So wow. I do think yeah. I'm done in here, so I'm going to let you enjoy. All right. So Dave just left. Let's close the door. I cannot believe the room we're in. I was not expecting this mansion to have this type of room, but you can tell that it was used for important meetings. I think right over there too is where, you know, the servant would kind of deliver the food. Wonder what kind of important talks they had here. I know one of them was about Pearl Harbor. Unreal. What's over here? I don't know what this book is about. I think in Japan they read from right to left so the beginning would be the opposite way yeah you can see the page numbers number six right there it just increases as we go shows like all the buddha statues maybe these are all the buddha statues in japan well it definitely talks about the religion i guess the people living here could have been buddhists right here in the corner they had a little keyboard kind of liquid that is kind of looks like piss vines are starting to grow all the way up here that doesn't feel safe to step on over there i can see there's like a album let's try to work it away from that side This part doesn't feel that good. All right, well, I got it. Some pictures that we can see. Family that used to live here. Dang, look at that. They're eating at the dining table. Looks like they're having a barbecue. What's this? It's a postcard album. These are all postcards from all the places they traveled to. So this is what Dave showed earlier. It's pretty cool that this was made in England and it's all the way out here. I would have loved to travel back in the past. Must have been completely different because, you know, I feel like, you know, not many people used to travel back then. It was so hard to travel. 
like all the tourist spots. Didn't have like thousands of people going there, you know what I mean? I think we have one more floor to go, so let's head on up. Oh, this is quite narrow. Well, it feels sturdy. It's just a tiny room. Looks like there was a bed at one point. You can see the bed frame right there. There's nothing piquing my interest, but whoever stayed in this room was probably a girl. It's like another ornament. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it. And this is another English thing. At one point they had like an interest in England. There's a book on heritage of Britain, Engagement Diary, 1988. Over here is another bedroom, but look at the state of that. I would not want to go in there. That's probably where the parents slept. Looks like a big bed. I'm not taking chances. Looks like it's about to collapse. The moment you step in. Well, just made it back outside. I think there's another building down this way. I also think it was another house they had on the property. So we'll go down there. This looks as spooky as the other one. I think we can walk down the hill from here. Why don't this belong to the same person? Damn. Put back the gimbal. I'm not sure who lived here. This could have been a guest house or maybe it's where the parents stayed and the kids inherited the mansion. There's a lot of stuff. Even some really cool vintage retro toys. I wouldn't be surprised if we find like video games in here. But look how much stuff is in this building. Unreal. There's so many things, I don't know where to begin. Whoa. Is that a video game console? That's a... Uh... That looks like a VHS player. I think they use this home for entertainment. Maybe this is where they would host parties and events. And look at that. It's a really nice record set. I think these are wedding photos. Some Pokemon toys here.
There's so much kid toys. Man, their kid was definitely spoiled. This is fallen. There's a picture of the granddaughter. Trying to spot for anything crazy. If you happen to see anything on the screen that I don't notice, leave a comment down below with a timestamp. Check the attic later. So we're now on the other side where we couldn't enter. There's another staircase. There's one of the bedrooms. So many clothes. Look at all the shopping bags. But yeah, there's a lot of designer clothing in here. Look at that, they were even shopping for Fendi. There's some VHS tapes. I feel like a lot of it has been stolen. spiders. There's nothing over there. Wow. It's just an attic. Stairway here. Got to crawl through. Look at all the shoes. I know, it's really hoarded. Look at the selection of soap. Oh, this is probably the coolest find. It's like an old camera. It's a Kodak XL55. Looks like it could have been a library. I have a feeling that this is probably a school. Maybe their kids or grandkids were homeschooled. Well, it's super dark now. I'm gonna try to head back to the car. Alright guys, so I just made it back to my accommodation. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. If you enjoyed it, definitely subscribe and hit that notification button bell to be notified of every video I post out every single week. Such an amazing adventure. 
and probably one of my most creepiest explorers and most haunted explorers I've ever done. And I'm so happy I got to explore this place because I'm such a big fan of Fatal Frame. It's one of my favorite horror games. Although Himuro Mansion isn't real, I truly think that I got inspiration from this abandoned mansion. It's probably the most evidence I've caught for a haunted exploration. I definitely want to hear your thoughts about it, such as the open door, the experience that Dave had with the broken uh, light bulb that fell from the ceiling, and if you happen to notice anything else that I didn't catch, leave a comment down below and post a timestamp on it. It was such a really cool place to just see and experience. You can tell that this mansion was such a lovely home at one point in time and it's such a shame that it's just left in this bad condition. I really hope one day someone can go restore it, but I think that so many people are just afraid and don't want it because it's haunted. I'm gonna wrap it up guys. I hope you guys have been following the Japan series. I think this is probably the third video from the Japan series and we still have so much more to go. If you haven't watched the other videos from the new Japan series, I highly recommend you go watch the playlist right up here that's popping up after this video is done. Until next time guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder and I'll see y'all in the next adventure. Peace and thanks for watching.